No, we should pay more attention to these legends. It would explain many things that happened in the last 30 years. Kochek, you're a bigger fool than I thought. Now, where's my meat scraps? You did not show up yesterday, so I gave them to Bert for his hog. You knew I'd be in. I'm getting tired of keeping these meat scraps for you. Besides, Bert paid for it. You idiot. You'll be sorry for this. That'll be three dollars. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. You're watching PNT. I'm your host, slowly circling the rabbit hole of madness. Up front this week, according to an article by the Huffington Post and numerous online sources, one Mississippi town is under attack by side dishes. Residents of Bellhaven, Mississippi have recently begun finding bowls of mashed potatoes in such odd places as porches, on top of cars, and even inside of mailboxes. While the unusual offerings might simply be a harmless prank in a suburb already known for its quirky nature, the servings of starchy strangeness have suggested sinister motivations to some, fearing that the bowls of mashed potatoes might be poisoned in an effort to kill local pets. To date, none of the residents have eaten or tasted from the baffling bowls, and the mystery is not currently being investigated by local police. The residents of the neighborhood have their own suspicions, however, noting that several of the victims are members of a local private university. For PNT's part, we must agree that the motives of the perpetrator responsible for the menacing mash remain a mystery to us, but we wonder if perhaps this isn't a case of a grudge, born and nursed into bitter fruition over the course of decades by watching your brethren be pulverized and smothered with gravy! Do you know where your Mr. Potato Head is? From suspicious sides to luminous lights, our next story takes us to Norway, where a recent NASA experiment caused some to think that an extraterrestrial invasion was at hand. Time-lapse video taken by Michael Thusner shows the results of the Azure rockets designed to better understand how the Aurora Borealis impacts the energy flow entering and leaving the Earth's poles. In the first of eight launches, scientists launched twinned rockets into the ionosphere, which measured atmospheric density, temperature, and more importantly released canisters of tracer elements to create colorful clouds that show the flow of charged particles. Thusner, a Norway resident located roughly 100 miles from the launch site, was one of several witnesses to record the test. Rapidly spreading across social media, footage of the event caused speculations that included alien attack to a test of the alleged Blue Beam program designed to fake an alien contact. NASA was quick to put the kibosh on the cosmic conspiracy angle, however, releasing full details on the experiment and assuaging rattled residents that invasion was not imminent. For PNT's part, while we certainly appreciate the inherent beauty of such scientific endeavors, we cannot help but note that this serves as a perfect example of the human propensity to jump to extreme conclusions when presented with incomplete or inaccurate information. We're not saying that it's not aliens, but it's not aliens this time. We'll be back with the final part of our program in just a few moments. But first, a word from our sponsors. It's Procter & Gamble's Golden Fluffo, the first all-new shortening in 40 years. It's rich. Its color is golden yellow. And what a pie it makes. Richer looking, better tasting, more appetizing. I love Fluffo. It makes such a golden brown pie. Oh, man, that's some apple pie. Well, Mr. Wallace, that's a prettier pie than I ever baked with plain white shortening. And look how flaky it is. This yellow Fluffo is such a short shortening. Makes pie crust so rich. 
Like cooking champions, get richer looking, better tasting, more appetizing results in everything you bake or fry. Get Golden Fluffle. Welcome back. And remember, try Fluffo for the perfect pie. For the final part of our weekly roundup of the weird, PNT is pleased to bring you a remarkable UFO report drawn from the MUFON database. Taken on March 14th of this year in the city of Miko, Florida, the footage appears to show several large luminous orbs break apart into hundreds of smaller lights, which then cover the entire sky, moving about in formation. Let's have a look at the footage. Where did it go? I know. Oh, there it is. What the hell? Go inside and watch your pencil. It, it keeps getting brighter and less brighter. Whatever it was, it just... That is... If you get over here, you'll, you'll be able to see it better. That's weird. Oh, it's right between the trees. It's coming down. Look at it. They're all separated. Look. Look at them moving off the bridge. What the hell? Look at that. Holy shit. Excuse my language, guys. Wow. What deal? See it say all separate like that? What the fuck? It's a whole bunch of pieces now. Now I go, holy fucking shit. Where did it go? Oh. That is insane. Holy crap. And they killed Don't tell them anything. Tell them it's fairies or fireflies, I mean. I've got it on camera. Every bit of it, yeah. Oh my, you gotta send it to me because it did not show up on my phone for some reason. It just, all I'm getting is bright lights and flashing. Oh my God. Well, you know there was reports of earthquakes the past several days here too. All kinds of weird shit. You don't think it's not what too many parachutes. I was wondering if it was parachutes doing something at nighttime, but that's way too. But dangerous. even the scattered ones, the other blinking, oh oh, way over there. Robbie. Yeah, one. I was gonna say they they keep lighting back at where. Look how many is over here. Over. Look. There's hundreds and hundreds of them. There's literally hundreds. This is Look insane. at this. Hundreds of them. What is that? Looks like they just all separate. Yep. Oh, They're all moving in formation. We're fixing to get attacked. This is not. I've never seen anything like this in my life. Alright, baby, we gotta get where we get. That is so fucking weird. No, whatever it was blew up. Yeah, for sure. And it's still Look at them. Look at them. They're all over the place. Holy shit. No, I want to drive down by the river. This is freaking insane. And look, see, these two are still sitting on I've lost them now. They were sitting there when we first pulled up. There were three of them, right? I'm sorry, this is so exciting.
So what were the odd objects filmed this March moving over the skies of Miko, Florida, eventually breaking into hundreds of smaller lights that then blanketed the night sky? Let's run down the possibilities. Let's cut to the chase and save some time, shall we? Birds, clouds, drones, and planes are out for obvious reasons. Flares? Possible, but the lights do not seem to match the visual characteristics of either civilian or military flares. It would also take an incredible amount to produce the lights seen here. So, what about fireworks? While this is more likely than the flare explanation, it still does not account for the motions of the lights or the patterns produced by the smaller objects. Balloons or luminaria, then? Again, not utterly out of the realm of possibility, but also not terribly likely due to sheer practicality. As with the flares, and to a lesser extent fireworks, it would be expensive, time-consuming, and troublesome to coordinate enough balloons or luminaria to act as a hoax. That brings us to the next most likely possible explanation, that of astronomical phenomena. While there are clear similarities between the Florida footage and that of meteors, fireballs, and space debris burning up in the atmosphere, there are several factors PMT looked into that cast doubt on this being the cause of the lights. First is the most obvious, the pattern of the lights as they divide. While this does indeed look extremely similar to a meteor breaking up, meteor fragments fall downwards, moving towards the Earth, not holding position, fading in and out of sight, and then moving slowly in a horizontal direction. Plus, again, there are the number of lights seen to contend with. It would take a virtual shower of meteors burning up in order to replicate the footage. But just to firmly rule out this possibility, PNT scoured online astrological databases from multiple sources, including the American Meteorological Society, which tracks exactly these kinds of events. For the week of March 14, 2019, PNT could find no records of meteors or meteor showers for the dates in question. So while there are visual similarities, there are definite discrepancies to this explanation, including the fact that there were no meteors on the night in question. Rapidly running out of logical explanations, PNT then searched for a final possibility, skydiving or aerial displays. As with the meteor theory, PNT searched the calendars of major skydiving clubs and businesses, sporting events and concerts taking place in the area. Despite our thorough search, we were unable to find any events scheduled for the night in question. Even those few events that we did find were nowhere near March 14th or even the Miko area. Likewise, we could find no record of space debris or other spacecraft material being logged for re-entry on the night in question. Also, no launches. So, with our logical possibilities covered, what remains? Only the boundless possibilities of the unknown. Is it possible that what the amazed and terrified witnesses recorded was an attempt at contact by otherworldly beings? Could it have been a test of a rumored military project called Blue Beam, a combination of lasers and the projection of holographic imagery in order to stage a fake red flag alien invasion that will allow those in charge to institute martial law? Could it have been a test aircraft or spacecraft performing high-altitude maneuvers that lost control and then broke up, scattering its burning remains across the skies. Could it have been a message of some sort, sent perhaps not by aliens, but instead some intelligence that exists unknown and unseen alongside us? If they are attempting to send us a message, then what are they trying to say? Is it a simple greeting? a display to get our attention and let us know that we are not alone? Or is it a warning against some catastrophe to come, either one of our own making or some apocalyptic natural event that we are helpless to prevent? Tantalizing possibilities, to be certain. But 
whether or not the objects caught on tape moving over Misco, Florida this March were the result of a meteor shower, the test of a nefarious military program, or something else entirely, we'll leave up to you to decide. Sound off in the comments section below with your thoughts. That's it for this time, faithful viewers. Be sure to click like, share, subscribe, and hit the bell icon to be notified when PNT presents your next portion of The Paranormal. I'm your host reminding you to keep an open mind, because a closed one shuts out the truth. <laughs>